in Halliburton Court. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Deputy Premier. We now know that the reality of your electricity rebate is 36 cents a day. In my riding, this is what your hydro crisis looks like. Thousands of cases dealing with people who can't cope with the stress of making their hydro payments and are desperately begging for help. People defaulting, adding to the growing list of those in arrears. People destitute and needing my office to seek bridge funding. People on load limiters, like we're in a third world country. Residents and businesses crushed by delivery charges in rural areas. Residents and businesses forced to pay massive balloon payments because of an inept billing system. Residents and businesses struck with broken or dysfunctional meters from the failed smart meter program. Question. Farms collapsing because of stray voltage. Businesses cutting jobs or shutting down altogether. Mr. Speaker, can the Deputy Premier please tell us how she came up with 36 cents as the answer? <laughs> Thank you, Deputy Premier. Visit one. Uh, speaker, um, I, I wait with great anticipation for the supplementary in which the PC party will out outline their plan to reduce electricity costs. Speaker, but what I can tell you is what our plan are. We are reducing. Finish, please. Uh, we, we are taking 8%. The member for Renfrew, second time. We're cutting delivery charges for the most rural customers by 20%, Speaker, and we're empowering uh, industrial businesses to reduce their bills by one third through the Industrial Conservation Initiative, Speaker. But I do want to highlight other programs that are there for people Answer. who are facing real financial challenges, particularly the Ontario Electricity Support Program, Speaker, saves eligible low to moderate income households an average of 430. Thank you. Supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, to the Deputy Premier, you are not the one in the grocery line counting out your last coin to try and cover food purchases. Chair. You're not the one burning your staircase to heat your home. Chair, please. You're, oh, through you, Mr. Speaker, the Liberal government is not the one hitchhiking to work because you can't afford a car that you need to get to your job in order to pay your electricity bill. These are real stories from my riding. So, Mr. Speaker, will the Deputy Premier finally admit that they have lost all control of the electricity situation in the province of Ontario? Thank you, Deputy Premier. So, Speaker, I do want to go back to the Ontario Electricity Support Program. Saves, and I correct my record, an average of $430 per year. Now, one of your caucus mates suggested that it wasn't his Chair, job please. to inform constituents of bad. this program, Speaker, but I say it is your responsibility as MPPs of all the people to inform people about the Ontario Electricity Support Program that is there for people in low and moderate income families, Speaker, to give them the, the member asked the question. This is in addition to the Ontario Elect Energy and Property Tax Credit for qualifying uh, individuals and families up to up to $1,008 per year, with a maximum of $1,148 per year for qualifying senior speaker. Our reductions are on top of these initiatives designed Answer. to support those with the lowest income. Chief Government Whip.